Hi guys, welcome to The Homegrown Artist. Today we're gonna to be doing a flip through of my 2020 Hobonichi Cousin. A lot of you have been requesting that I do this flip through because I did do a flip through of my 2019 Hobonichi Cousin and I will leave that up in the iCards up above if you wanna check that out. Um, there's not that much difference, but I did change it up a little bit throughout the year. Um, and I kinda of have it the way I want it. There are a few things that I wanna change, um, but yeah. Uh, I love the Hobonichi. I will be sticking with it forever because like I said in the last Hobonichi Cousin flip through, it is the first planner that I've actually stuck through for a whole year and now for two years. And I will go for the third year for 2021. So I did go ahead and buy um, some Hobonichis for 2021. I bought the Hobonichi Mega Weeks. I did buy one for 2020, the Mega Weeks, but I ended up not liking it for like an everyday carry. So I ended up using it as just like a meal planner kind of one. And then I quit throughout the middle of the year because I just wasn't cooking anymore. Um, but this one, now because I have a job that I actually need to plan things for and like make schedules and stuff for, I got this for work. And then also I want to kind of create a YouTube channel for like vlogging in Korea to just kind of show how life is in Korea and traveling and stuff, especially please COVID go away so that I can travel. Um, but this is what this is for, kind of like a work planner that is separate from this one. Um, so hopefully this one will work out. But then work actually, um, my school gave me this for Christmas. It's a 2021 planner and it's a nice planner, lays flat and everything. It's cute. So I don't want to disappoint them and not use it. So I think this will be kind of like my messy planner where I can kind of get my ideas down and then I can make it cute and this one, something like that. And then this one right here is going to be like my everyday kind of memory keeping planner, but also kind of tasks that I do throughout the day, um, which is how I use this one right here. So I definitely will be keeping with Hobonichi as long as they keep making them awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and get through this one. So as you can see, mine get pretty chunky and it's not from stickers or anything like that. Although I did use a few stickers this year, but it is from like watercolor and doodling and just, just basic pen marks kind of make the paper a little bit chunkier, which I absolutely love because you can see kind of how it starts off at first and then it just becomes so pretty and I love that. Um, so the pens that I use, I have been using the 2019 Hobonichi Techo, 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 I have no idea, um, Uniball Jetstream. I stopped using it for a while because just, I don't write that neat with it, but I've been trying to practice writing neat because I love the way that it makes the paper feel and like the, the texture that it gives the paper. So I have been using it a little bit more. And then I also use this one right here, which is the Stedler Pigment Liner in 0.1. I love the way this feels on the Tomoe River paper and it dries instantly and I don't have to worry about if I want to watercolor over it later, will it run or anything like that. And then I also got, since I've been in Korea, this Preppy Fountain Pen in 02 Extra Fine. It's really amazing. The ink dries super quick on this paper. It doesn't smear. I've had no problems with it. And even if you watercolor over it, it doesn't like... Um, run. It does get a little bit thicker, but it doesn't like bleed everywhere. So I really, really like this pen in here as well. And like I said, I picked this up in Taiwan. So this is just the cover and the case that they had at the time. I didn't really have many choices there. So I just got what I could get. Um, and then let's go ahead and open it up. And just like last year, I'm not that decorative whenever it comes to these pages. I don't know why I should be. I like art. I like stickers. I just... I don't take the time to worry about this as much as on the inside. I like kind of taking care of the inside a little bit more, but I do have a stencil stuck in these pockets. Um, and I use a stencil quite a bit, especially this right here for the task. This is the Hobonichi stencil. And then I have these kind of tabs just for whenever I'm flipping through, especially if I'm going back on a day or taking notes or something like that, then maybe there's something I want to reference. So I just use the tabs to kind of like hold my place for a little bit when I'm flipping through because these strings that come in the Hobonichi, I kind of keep on the day that I'm on and I don't like kind of moving them around that much um, because I will lose my place. But then again, I'm just lazy because they have all like, if you want to go to, I think May, let's see if this is May. Yeah. Like you can just go to the colors on the Hobonichi and kind of find the first page of that month. But this right here is a little bit harder because it's all just gray. Um, but I don't, like the idea of like a million tabs on the Hobonichi itself. I haven't tried it, so maybe I will like it, but so, I don't like the idea of having everything stick out because even these kind of drive me insane. I like being able to see like the thickness and the texture of the book itself. Anyway, 
And then me and a friend were just doodling uh, with these markers that he got me at an art store we went shopping at. And uh, my boyfriend got me. And, um, and then this, me and... And then this right here, me and my boyfriend were just playing with some markers that we got. We went to like an art store and we found these. This I thought would be more like a magenta type color, but it's not. It's very, very purple. Um, but we just kind of doodled some little flowers and they are cute. So I put them in here. And then I have some cute pictures of me and my boyfriend on like a frozen little thing and then I have just some dot stickers I got at Daiso. Daiso is amazing by the way. They have so many things for so little money and they have like a lot of art supply stuff things too. Ooh, that just came off. Anyway, um, but I got these dot things. Uh, I thought maybe two or three were in the pack but no, there's like 50 sheets in each pack so I have so many dots to work with. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to use them for. I did use them to like decorate spreads in here. Um, but I think for next year, I will actually use them on my monthlies to like denote, oh, that's a payday, birthday, something like that. And I will color code it because I have these colors and then three other colors. So I have six colors to work with. So we'll see if I use those or not. I'm not sure. I haven't really set up the way I'm going to use my 2021. I'm kind of figuring that out now. It is the 30th. So I have a day, I have one day to figure it all out. So I'll be working on that this afternoon. And then in the back, I have kind of the same thing I had last year because I'm horrible at using stickers, as you can see throughout this planner. But I have the same stickers I got in Taiwan. I want to use them, but then again, they're so cute that I don't want to use them. I'm like, I'm more of a sticker collector than user, I guess. But I need to, I need to use them. But then also, there's another reason I don't use so many stickers, especially the bulky ones is whenever, if I use a sticker on this page, when I go to write on this page, I kind of, there's like a line there and it's hard to write, so I need to get over that and just use more stickers because I bought them. <laughs> so I have, these are the ones that I got in Taiwan that I had in my planner last year, and I did use some of these this year. And then I got a few more at a stationery store, just some cute little character stickers. They're so cute. And then this I ordered chicken, and the chicken place actually sent me a planner and these little stickers. But the planner was horrible, so I gave it to one of my students. And this is a Mother's Day card for my kid before I moved to Korea. And it's beautiful and I love it, so I just keep it in here. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I moved to Korea in July this year. And I'll just move those out there. And it's been kind of a crazy year. So with moving to Korea and with COVID going on, there is a few paid, there are a few blank pages in here and just like times where I didn't feel like planning or I didn't have time. So yeah, please excuse me for that. But most of it is pretty much filled. Um, this page I don't ever use. I have no idea what to do on here. If you have ideas for what I should do on here and that doesn't take hours because that's the main reason I use the Hobonichi because it's pretty much already set up for me. Um, but that can make this page a little bit better. Please let me know. Um, this right here, I tried to keep track of like exercise that I was doing and my weight loss goals and stuff like that. And I did a pretty good job. This was supposed to be goals, but that I failed at, but just keeping track of most of it other than here, I kind of did really great. I changed it up a little bit here. I was doing like miles, calories, and the time it took me. And I did that for two months and I switched over to, um, just if I exercised at all. And then I started doing steps, which I, I think is a little bit better. Um, so I kept doing that for the rest of the year. I just wrote some random quotes down here. I think what I will do next year um, for this is actually use it as a calendar. So I will have like three main monthly goals um, up here or things that I want to put in that month, like um, ideas for pages or something like that up here. Um, I'm not too sure, but I will figure it out. But then here, I do want to do a calendex because it's a lot harder to go through, flip through your weeklies and be like, okay, when was that day that I did this? I want to see what happened then or something like that. Oh, I was sad that day. And then I can flip through it, something like that. I would rather have, if I make a list, I can have it here if I have like a, um, a great story, a great day, like say I take a trip to Seoul or something like that. I can write that there. And it's much easier to flip through here. And also the pages that will be here. So if I don't calendar for say like a week, I can always flip through and come back to it. 
Um, so that will make it a little bit easier to keep up with. With the exercise thing, it's already on my phone. So yes, I can go and fill it out, but it's already on my phone. So it's kind of like a repetitious thing. And then I just like being able to reference what happened on that day and come in here and find it quickly. And I got that idea from Lindsay Scribbles. I don't usually like watch other people's planner stuff because then I'll feel like I need to do all those things. But I saw something, I think a picture of her Calendex on Instagram or something like that. And I loved it. And I've seen other people just flipping through Instagram because I do follow the Hobonichi um, hashtag. Just seeing those people use it as a Calendex and I like that idea. So I think I will use that. And then my monthlies are so plain. Um, I started out okay with like stickers, but I just don't really, I don't know what to do in my monthlies that doesn't make it repetitious. I don't like having my monthlies say the same thing as my weeklies and then the same thing as my dailies. Um, because my weeklies are kind of memory, memory things too. So like, I don't know. Um, just kind of like what I did throughout the day and what I need to do as well. So it's kind of like to do and memory keeper. So I can be like, oh, today I did this. Let's read it in the page or something like that. Or if I haven't filled in the dailies for that week, then I can be like, okay, I did this. And it will jog my memory. And then I can go fill this out because I don't actually plan every single day other than a little bit of to-do list. So I don't know what to do here. Maybe it can be... If I don't do the calendex kind of thing, maybe it could be kind of the reference, like the whole calendar can be my calendex. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I will do. Um, but I just don't have anything to put in here. I could put my work schedule in here, but I have a whole work planner. And then on the weeklies, I'm working. So I have, um, I have the work stuff here. So I know when I'm working. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to use this for. So again, if you have any ideas, please let me know. Any ideas that is not repetitious. I could do little doodles every day, but again, I don't spend, I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours in the planner. Like I don't want to get stressed out and make this less fun, fun for me. I don't want to worry too much about how it looks. I just like sometimes writing thoughts down, going on rants and stuff like that, and not worrying too much about how everything looks. I don't like planning to plan. I like actually just like planning and using it as a journal. And if I just feel like just doing art for that day, just kind of doing lettering and art and stuff and on those days. So I don't know, maybe I need like little character stickers or something. Cause I like the look of the stickers and the monthlies because I don't write that much in it. The stickers and the monthlies doesn't bother me. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, and I don't really have like doctor's appointments I have to keep up with here. It's so easy to go to the doctor here. Like if you get sick, you don't have to set up an appointment. You just go. If you want your hair cut, you don't have to set up an appointment. You just go. So there's not much for me to put in the monthly pages anymore. Um, and July is whenever I moved to Korea. And I actually had to sell my Tombow markers. And I was putting like the instead of stickers, like drawing out the letters for the month. And then I don't have Tombow markers anymore, so they start looking kind of rough. Um, and I use the little stickers I got in Taiwan. And I like this idea, so I kind of want to do that. Maybe I will do that next year. Just use those stickers for the monthlies. Or maybe doodle. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. It's like a journey, this planner, like trying to figure out exactly what works for you, but then maybe the next year it won't work for you as well. So you never know. Or for me, I may change my mind and just, I'm like that, which is why this planner works so well for me because I can change things up as I go and it doesn't have to be exactly the same. It's amazing because all of the other planners, everything's kind of set in stone for you where you write specific things. And I don't like that about most planners. I really love that this can change on a whim. You can just change however it looks. So in my weekly spreads, I absolutely love the weekly spreads. Um, I kind of write like what I did throughout the day, what I need to do throughout the day as well. And then I kind of reference it if I don't do the daily pages that day. Usually I do the daily page like the day after I'll do the day before. But if I'm like, ah, what did I do yesterday? <laughs> then I can look on here because I do the weekly spreads I do every day. Um, but yeah, I started out, this is like tracking my sleep and I always write the days up here and sometimes color this in. And I was doing like health tracking with the um, 
zebra mild liners, but then I lost the little card I had that had these on the plane. I was working in my Hobonichi on the plane and it fell through the cracks and yeah, there's no more health tracking. Also COVID happened and I just kind of didn't plan that much. So I wasn't using it anyway. And then down here is where I actually do a lot of tracking on like my habit trackers. So it has like exercise, vitamins, water, reading, art, sleep, and then studying Korean I put here. And there's one more I added later. And I like this idea, but then now I'm not doing all of these every day because I am working and then also exploring and I don't really have a routine here anymore. I just kind of do things as they come other than work. So I don't really know how I will change that up because I want to do these things every day. It's just I'm not doing it and this isn't really helping me to do it. So I may change it. I may not. We'll see. I, I like having it down here. And then there's this empty space here. So in the future, I kind of changed that up as well. But I usually use like watercolor or I was using Tombow markers or some kind of um, like water soluble ink or something like that to kind of color things. And I have goals here. Eventually it turns into like just to-do list. This page was supposed to be, I think, or I planned it as this week because I accidentally skipped this page and I didn't look at the dates like, oh no. I thought it was January, but it's actually February. So I planned it as February as January. And then I was like, this is the wrong month. So I had to like put something over it and I was trying to make it pretty, but it didn't work out. So I'm not a fan of this page, but most of my weeks I really like, not that one. Um, this is just the, um, Tombow color pencils. And here's where I start keeping like a food tracker down here, just what I have as a meal for dinner. And I like that it takes up the space down here, but then I, I don't really eat anything crazy. So I don't need to know what I ate for that day unless I'm like on a diet or something like that. So I may change it. Once I got to Korea, this became more fun because I was like, Ooh, what did I eat that night? Ooh, cause there's so many different foods to try and there's still more foods to try, but now I've tried, I've been here long enough to try most things. So and then also my school feeds me. So it's just like school food and it kind of repeats. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may use this to do health tracking. If I feel like if I have a headache that day or backache or fibro or anything like that, I may track it down here instead of doing it up here. I think that's a good idea. Actually, this is color pencils. So I also track the weather up here. Some days I forget, forgot to actually do the weather. Um, some days I didn't track anything at all. Um, even here, I just wrote no go goals, just feel better. <clears throat> so yeah, I usually track the weather up here using a stencil. And if I don't have the stencil, I just kind of doodle it because for the first three months being here, I didn't have any art supplies, but like two paintbrushes, some watercolor and this. Um, this is really cute. I like the like watercolor flowing down, although it didn't help with like the tracking. So I didn't do this too often, although it's really pretty. I like coloring everything in because it is kind of a tracker as I color it in, like when I work, when I sleep, what I ate kind of thing. These are kind of plain, but I like them. I like this with the little pops from the stencils with the darker color. I like that quite a bit. Like I said, it turned into to, to do instead of goals. I don't know why my brain just switched to to do all of a sudden. Here I just, I use the Monami brush pens, um, the fluorescent ones. And I didn't track any of the food, but I created the tracker. And then I didn't plan anything here. It's like a whole month I went without really planning anything. And then I started back in July because that's when I was moving to Korea and I had some things to kind of plan out and I needed to be able to write things down. And I just really wanted to get back into my planner because I love it. Um, I love this page. Oh, I forgot to put the days of the week up there. That happens sometimes. I also didn't do tracking down here. There's a lot of days where I just forget to do tracking or like I do one thing on, the, on my habit tracker, which is really bad. And usually it's like water. Um, 
And then I don't know what happened, but at some point every Saturday I would mess up. Ugh, I would mess up the whole entire spread. I did that a couple of times, like here, here. And so here I messed up, so I just kind of made it part of the spread. I don't know why, every Saturday. But yeah, these are my weeklies. This is pretty much how it looks like on a weekly basis. Just kind of like the um, habit tracker with the food. Usually they're colored in and work and sleep. I did not track sleep, so maybe that's not actually how it looks. Like this one right here. I don't know, maybe I need to find a better one. Usually they all look like, they're never all the same, but my goal was to have them kind of more like this. Let's find a better one. Kind of more like this right here where I track sleep, habit tracker, um, color things in, and then also work is what I wanted to have done, but sometimes I failed at it. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect every day. Like this one. This one is good. I actually filled everything in. There's a lot of weeks that I didn't fill in sleep because I don't remember. I'm just plain black one. This is actually watercolor pencil that I just didn't activate. Highlighters from Daiso actually. I just have them at my school and I brought my planner to school and I was like, hmm, I need to color this because it was just black and white. So, And I really like the color combinations though. So I think I use it again or maybe not. So this is today and I think I'll finish this week but then also repeat it in the next year's planner just because I'm still setting things up. And then this one right here, um, this is my 2020 hopeful resolution board. Some of them I did, some of them I didn't. The ones that I didn't will be transferred over to 2021 and hopefully eventually I'll get things done. But some of them are not relevant any, anymore, like house fixed up. I live in a studio apartment. Um, I don't even know what this means. Hobonichi master, what does that mean? No idea. Um, anyway, some of them don't apply anymore. And then this is gratitude, just what I'm thankful for for this year. I just do a one page spread for that. And I just each month, whatever I'm grateful for for that month. I know some people do like every day they do a I'm grateful for kind of sentence. But I just like to keep one spread to see what I was grateful for for that entire year. And then here we are in the daily pages. And I love the daily pages because you can do whatever you want on these pages. If you just want to do a bullet journal, you can do that. If you want to journal journal, you can do that. If you want to watercolor, doodle, anything, it's so great. And you can mix it all up. I love it. So I started off adding this reading, watching, listening down here, and then like brush lettering or lettering the days of the week up here. I switch it up at some point and I have a to-do list here. And this is when I had more to do. <laughs> So throughout the year, like you can see my to-do list, I usually have five things now just because I don't have that much that I need to do within a day, like other than, I don't, I don't know, cleaning, exercise, studying. Usually those three are on my list now. Um, so some days I don't even do a to-do list anymore because at work I have like this little book that I do for what I need to do for work which is why I bought this planner for work because I actually want to have the to-do lists in an actual planner. I love this spread. This is using the stencils that I got and then also the Tombow markers, which because I moved to Korea, a lot of my art supplies didn't come with me and the Tombow markers are so many and they're so bulky. I didn't get to bring those with me. And I'm so sad about it because I thought because I'm moving to Korea right by Japan, Tombow markers would be cheaper. They're so much more expensive here. They're like $260 for the set of 100. And they're 50, around $50 for a set of nine actual colors and then one blender pen. So I'm really sad about that, but I want them. I want them so bad. I want them back. I miss you so much. It just made it easy to do things in, in the planner. And these are the Zebra Sarasa Clip pens and like the earthy colors. I really like those pens. I like these little watercolor spreads that I do. I don't even think about it. I just kind of do whatever comes to my mind. And then I do like the cursive thing. And here I'm still writing really big, the reading, watching and listening, but I think I changed that. I definitely changed that later. I like the spread as well. It's so easy with the 
Tombow pens. Oh, I want them back. Tombow jewel tip brush pens. Please come back to me. And this page I need to redo for 2021 because this is things I want to do in my lifetime and then fixes, changes for the house. This is no longer re relevant because I don't have a house anymore. And then this, some of these has cha have changed, so I want to change that up. And this little sparkly effect is not salt. It's just in the Hobonichi. If you use watercolor, let it dry for just a minute and then sprinkle water and then pick it up with a paper towel. You get this cool effect, like this dotty wrinkly effect, which is pretty cool. I don't use that much washi tape in here anymore either because I've just come to embrace the Japanese down there. I just don't bother with it anymore. I've also realized, and you, you will see through towards the end of the daily pages, I don't try to cover this up as much any, anymore unless it's like a decorative thing and I don't have to write all the way to the bottom of the page. Just, I write what I feel for that day. These are Diane Reevely stickers. I like this page, it's really cute. Just like words from our book pages and then little doodles. Kind of a metallic -y pen, it's the Jelly Roll metallic pen. It's the only time I wrote in Jelly Roll in this um, Hobonichi because they're so thick and the ink comes out so fast. I don't like the thick writing. More watercolor doodles. This is a gorgeous red and I absolutely love these transparent kind of stickers. But again, I didn't have room to bring all this stuff with me for my planner. So these stickers ended up on my suitcase, all the rest of them that I had. Because I like to like put stickers on my suitcase so that I will know it's mine during like lead baggage claim. So all those stickers went to my luggage. I like these little doodles. I need to doodle more in the planner. Stickers, more doodles. I love this and I didn't even touch it after I do it. I was going to write over it, but then this kind of bled through and it just gave this pretty effect. So I didn't even mess with it. I love how watercolor just reacts in the Hobonichi because even this texture is just from the Tomoe River paper kind of wrinkling up and the juicy watercolor kind of going into these little pools. And I absolutely love that. So anywhere there's this weird washi tape, it's just, it's either pages I have private information on or blank pages sometimes. These are again those transparent pretty flower stickers. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. Blank page. Just a rant. These pages, these I guess landing pages for the month. I don't know why, but they always end up looking really ugly to me. And I think it's because I put too much pressure on myself whenever I get to doing them that they don't even look as pretty as like my actual spreads because I put too much pressure on myself and then I mess up. So I think from now on, I'm just going to not care and just do whatever I want. Um, again, skipping some pages. This is a crayon. Um... This is a page I came back to. I had already written things on it, but I wanted some color on the page. So whenever, or I want, really wanted to just play with the watercolors that I got. Um, so someone gave me Melon Green from Mission Gold, and then I bought some White Knights watercolors, and these are two opaque colors in the set. So they look really pretty together, so I just wanted to try them out on this spread. And you can see this is the fountain pen, and this is what the watercolor does to the fountain pen, but it doesn't like bleed out, which is great. And this is using this pen right here, the High Tech Coletto. It just comes, I have it set up to where it's like the rainbow kind of pen. And some days I like these kind of spreads. And here is when I'm getting a job in Korea. And some days I just kind of write in different fonts and fill up the page. This was a blank page and I think I just came in and I didn't have anything to write on these pages so I just brush pen with an actual uh, watercolor brush and it's really hard. I'm not used to it so I have to kind of practice that. 
This is with the Tombow blender pen, which I actually did bring on accident. So it's actually using the Monami Plus pens and kind of scribbling on the desk or a palette and then picking up the color. More watercolor. Some Korean studying. See, I just do random stuff in here sometimes. I think last year I was studying Chinese. Some more blank pages, and I think all of these are blank. So I could come in and decorate these if I wanted to, but I don't feel like it. So we're in June now, and I think I skipped most of June. I was taking notes for, I was using June for YouTube notes. I had set up this page to do some watercoloring. And then I think, yeah, <laughs> I don't do anything until I get to June. And uh, these are the Monami Plus pens uh, swatched out. They're nice whenever you write a certain way, but it's hard to do kind of small. I don't know, I'm not used to them, so I have to get used to them. I kind of do as I go, so they don't look too bad, but I really miss Tombos. I just do, they're amazing. Lots of watercolor stuff. I wrote big here. I think it's the only page I actually wrote big on. Because like I said in my last flip through, I'm not a fan of when I write big. Oh, nope. Here's another one. So now I am in Korea. Yay. And here are some of those dots. This is back planning because I was in quarantine and didn't really have anything to do. I could have been using the planner, but... I just binge watched a lot of TV. And then this, I don't know what I was doing, but it ended up looking like a cactus, so I just kept doing it. Uh, this is cute. This is my last day before I'm out of quarantine, so I'm like going crazy. I haven't, literally haven't left my apartment in 13 days. So I'm like, don't cry. I'm going crazy. Ah. <laughs> this is swatching. Um, I went to Daiso, of course, my first day out, and I got these brush pens, and they're not that bad. Um, they're no Tombos, but that's what I've been using throughout the rest of the year, mostly, and um, they were $5, so no big deal. Another blank page. Watercolor, watercolor, watercolor. I like these colors together. They're really pretty. This was supposed to be a prettier page. I had plans for this and then stuff happened. I had to leave, I think, earlier than I was supposed to. And then I came back and I was like, yeah, I don't want to finish it. I'm just going to write. So I started off with plans for these two colors to be on the spread, but didn't finish it. Sorry if I'm losing my voice. It is snowing outside. It is actually 16 degrees, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting sick. I like this idea. Maybe I'll make it more watercolory next time, but like using the markers and then kind of writing over it. I like that. I like these colors together. It's with the um, this right here getting a little bit better at it as I go by. I don't know what I was thinking here. <laughs> These are those little dots again. Cute. I love the weather in Korea. There's actually a winter, spring, summer, and fall, which unlike where I'm from, there's not. It's summer. Um, these little doodles are really cute. And actually, I started doing a little bit more doodles for a while. I got this pencil. Or actually, my boyfriend got it for me. And it's like a weighted pencil, and it's thicker. And I don't know what's happened, but I've never really liked, like, doodling or sketching with a pencil before because I was just bad at it with, like, a mechanical pencil. But this one is amazing, and it makes me feel like I'm an artist. I don't know, I don't know if that's strange or not, but this pencil makes me want to doodle more. 
so I did this. It's cute. I like it. And then this is pages that I didn't write anything on, but for Christmas, my boyfriend got me the Karen markers, like all of them, which is amazing. Um, and I swatched them out, but unfortunately they bleed. They bleed throughout the, the Tamoy River paper, which not many things do, but they're so juicy and thick, which is what, make, what makes them great markers for like watercoloring and stuff like that and brush lettering on real paper. Um, but on here they don't work great and I wanted them to kind of replace my Tombows since he got them for me, but unfortunately they don't. Only a few of them don't bleed through and I don't want to have to always be like, oh, which ones don't bleed? So, and this was just me showing them him how they work as watercolors. So that's why there's a Christmas tree there. And so he first got me these and I was so excited about it that he was like, oh, you need these too. And then I was so excited about those that he was like, oh, you need the neon ones too. He, he understands me. He gets me. This is just a cute page doodling. Um, this is using the... Uh, this is another page that I just didn't have anything written on because like Wednesdays and Thursdays, not really much happens. I'm working. So all of these pages actually, these four pages are just done after the fact. And I just used the, the Karen marker blender pen, which is amazing. By the way, I used that one with the Karen markers because they bleed through I wanted to try to see if they bled through with the blender pen and they don't and they I mean they look amazing with the blender pen I love it it kind of gives like a watercoloring effect to the markers which is really nice and they just like you can see how the purple goes into the blue and I don't know it's just so pretty and I absolutely love it uh, same thing so I really like it's kind of replaced the Tombow's a little bit but I can't get like specific colors that I want because the blender pen kind of waters them down like the it's very juicy as well so I don't know I think with more time I can kind of make them be like combos I just have to figure it out a little bit more and then here's the neon ones but this yellow is sticky so the page keeps sticking and I don't know why the yellow sticky but they're so juicy but the neon ones don't bleed through so I appreciate that another doodle I don't know. <laughs> These are, again, the um, brush pens from Daiso. They're not bad, but they're, they're no Tombow. Blank, blank. This is whenever I got the, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Genuine Crafts, sorry. The Gen Crafts watercolors, and I just wanted to see what the watercolors did in the planner. And we're almost to the end. I love flipping through this. Even if like there's some pages I don't like, or I feel like I could have done a differently, I just like the fact that I just did whatever came to my head that day, even if I was in a hurry. Actually, some of the pages look the best when I don't think about it. So I love that. And I love just flipping through the pages and seeing all the different things I did. It just makes me feel good. So even if I don't like it, I love it. And I think here's today. I haven't done anything for today, but that's pretty much it. I have... On the kind of blank grid pages they have in the back. This was my ideas for um, this year's, which I don't think I even referenced. That's how bad I am at it. Um, but I have Hobonichi 2021 future ideas, which I will definitely take some notes because I need to kind of figure out exactly how I want to use the things I discussed, like my monthlies and the year at a glance kind of thing, which is I think the only thing I'll change. I think the dailies, I'll keep doing whatever I want for that day. And the weeklies, I kind of like my layout that I have. And that's it for this planner. I don't use the pages in the back. Pencil board really helps out whenever the pages get really, like, thick. It's kind of hard to write on this much paper. So the pencil board is amazing. And, yeah, love this planner. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. And I will definitely do another flip through for 2021. And if you want me to, let me know in the comments. I will actually... Once I get like the first month of January set up, 
and kind of figure out what I want to do with my monthlies and my year at a glance, I will give you an update if you would like me to. So let me know in the comments down below um, because I kind of want to figure that out myself and I would like to share it with you guys. Um, but if you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more Hobonichi flip throughs and art videos, art supply reviews, watercolor videos, stuff like that, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. It will let you know when I come out with new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.